I spent a total of last week. Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aiko and for today's video, I'm gonna be doing something different. I'm gonna tell you guys what I spent in a week as a college student here in the Philippines. This video was inspired by an international YouTuber, Lexi Lombard. I'm gonna link her video down below. Take note that I do budget my own money because my parents live in another country, so that means that I'm in charge of my spendings, my allowance. So they do give me like the basic necessities, money for the things that I need like food, rent, and all those kind of stuff. On the other hand, all my wants and some travel expenses and my clothing, I do buy it using my own money. I started tracking down my expenses last week and it was actually pretty interesting because I get to take down and actually reflect on the things I spent on. So if you guys want to know how much I spent in a week, then just keep watching. The first thing I spent money on was on a Shopee delivery. You know, I bought ng 11 11 sale and I bought myself a tripod. It was only 184 pesos and it was COD so I had to pay it downstairs. After that, I had lunch. I had rosemary chicken. It was 100 pesos. I treated myself on a Starbucks drink. I wanted to try the new flavors for this season. So I got that for 190 pesos. I don't buy coffee every day. I just really wanted to try the Starbucks drink. And of course, it was a way for me to motivate myself to go to school. So after that, I booked a hotel for La Union because there's gonna be the Sea Games thing and we don't really have classes that week. So I wanted to treat myself on a weekend getaway with my friends. So that was originally 6,400 pesos, but since we're two, we are halving it, so I only spent 3,200 pesos on the hotel. Then for dinner, I had pesto pasta that was 70 pesos. So last Monday, I spent 3,744 pesos all in all. So going on the next day, on a Tuesday, I spent 140 pesos for food. I got a chicken platter for lunch. Then along with that, I had a shake. It was the Buko Pandan shake, my favorite from Ursao. It was 100 pesos. I get the one with pearls. It's really good. It's the bomb, guys. And then I had to get my laundry dry cleaned. So I spent 508 pesos on that. It was pretty expensive because I had laundry ko din yung pillows ko because it hasn't been washed for a really long time and I really needed to get it washed because it was getting kind of gross. So I had two pillows and those were 150 each. So most of that laundry expense went to that pillow. And then for dinner, I had sinigang which was 120 pesos. I'm now realizing that I spent way too much money on food. This week was really hectic for me so I didn't have the time to go to the grocery and cook my own food. So it was so much easier for me to just buy it and just eat it. It just saves more time. For Tuesday, I spent a total of 868 pesos. By the way, I'm looking here because I have my phone here. I put everything down on my notes. Last Wednesday, I had shamai for lunch. It was 144 pesos. And then I had to buy tissue from the grocery store. It was 75 pesos. And then after that, I needed to buy a snack. So I got a smoothie bowl from Bold. It was so good. I had the... What do you call this? Surf monkey, sir? Surf monkey? After surf. Oh, okay. So for my snack, I had after surf. It's a smoothie bowl. It was really good. It was 109 pesos. And then for lunch, I had some peri-peri chicken, which was 129 pesos. So last Wednesday, I spent a total of 457 pesos. You guys noticed, I don't spend that much money on transportation because I live near my school. So I walk going to school. I don't need to grab Thursday. Okay, this is all food. I mean, mostly all food. For lunch, for lunch, for lunch. <laughs> For lunch, I had something really healthy. I got a chicken with brown rice, which was 109 pesos. I got it inside my school. And then I had a shake, which was 70 pesos. I bought some mango shake just to freshen me up because it's so hot now, so I need a shake. And then I had the fish ice cream. Do you guys know that? The one from the Korean store. It's this vanilla ice cream with some like 
sweet beans on top and it's shaped like a fish. It was really good. I got it for 60 pesos. I just wanted something sweet. That's why I bought it. That's usually my go-to when I crave for anything sweet. And then I had to buy some bond paper at the office warehouse because I always need to print like a lot of papers so I just buy the one in bulk it was 210 pesos so all in all I spent a total of 449 pesos last Thursday for Friday I actually went out I went to Greenbelt because I had to buy a few stuff so I bought a sticky bra for 179 pesos it was really affordable it was the silicone one that's why and it looked like a chicken cutlet. If you guys haven't watched my vlog yet, I actually vlogged myself in Greenbelt buying all the stuff that I needed. I'm gonna link it up here and down below. And then after that, I went to Healthy Options to buy my face wash. I got the salicylic acid which was 479 pesos. It was kind of affordable na kasi malaki siya, malaki yung bottle. I think mga 120 ml ata yon. It's a really good face wash because it's for acne but it doesn't dry out my face which is nice after buying that i went to watson's to buy an eyelash glue which was 60 pesos i buy the one from nichido because it's pretty like inexpensive and it works really well i got hungry from all the walking in the mall so i grabbed myself a smoothie from big chill it was 175 pesos i get the supercharger i think you know i think vanilla going supercharger it's really good and then i had to grab home it was 150 pesos. I didn't pay for my ride going there because I rode with my friend. For Friday, I spent a total of 1,043 pesos. Going on to Saturday, I filmed the collab with a YouTuber. I can't wait for you guys to watch the video. So I went to her place, which costed me 210 pesos for grab. And then after that, we grabbed some Starbucks. It was 180 pesos. I got the matcha latte with a shot of espresso. It's my favorite. It's really good. You guys have to try it. And then I had to grab back to my condo, which costed me 160 pesos. All in all, I spent 550 pesos last Saturday. So going on to our last day, which was Sunday. For lunch, I had sinigang again because I just really missed that homemade Filipino food. That was 120 pesos. After that, I had to take a grab to Conrad for my friend's event. And I didn't spend that much on grab this day because I was with my friend Shaji and we split the grab fee. It was 75 pesos going to the Conrad. I also ate dinner there. I had chicken wings, which was only 172 pesos. Going back to my condo, I spent 80 pesos on grab. Last Sunday, I spent 447 pesos. I spent a total of 7,558 pesos last week. Keep in mind that all weeks are different. Sometimes I spend a lot more, sometimes I spend a lot less. It just really depends on what I'm doing for that week. If I need something, if I need to buy something, or if I'm going shopping. It really depends on a weekly basis. This video was so interesting because I didn't know that I spent like a total of this amount last week. It was pretty high because I don't really spend this much on a week. But since I had to do a lot of things, you can't really help it. Of course, you really have to spend money on some things. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys found it interesting. It was pretty like fun for me since I got to keep in track of all my spendings. So now that I found out that I spent this much, I think I'm not gonna be spending a lot next week. Because, you know, know, college student, you gotta save your money. I have to save my money. So, mom, if you're watching this, yun yung mga binibili ko, yung mga pagkain ko. So, patas naman ang allowance dyan, no? Kahit konti lang. <laughs> Joke lang. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all on my next video. Bye, guys!